welcome back to What Are You Reading? Today we have Grace Lynn here. Welcome to the show, Grace. Hi, Arlo. So, Grace, um, you're an author and illustrator, right? Yes, I'm an author and an illustrator. But I heard that you don't really like to be called an author illustrator. Well... What, what, what do you call it then? I... I, you make books and you draw them too <laughs> and you write them? What else would it be? Well, I actually like to call myself a storyteller that wor uses words oh. and pictures to tell my stories. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, so you tell stories with, with pictures and with words. Yes, exactly. Oh, great. So I see you brought some, some books to show me today. Yes, I have my, very, uh, my early reader, which is called Ling and Ting, Not Exactly the Same. Oh. So I hope you get a chance to read this one. I did read that one. I oh, read that one you? yesterday. Oh, oh my it's gosh, it's so funny. I love, <laughs> they get the haircut. That's so funny. Yes. And I, I, I don't want to give it away, but the ending is so funny too. I love the way it all ties together at the end. Oh, great. I like, uh, I really have, I really like this. This is about a two girls named Ling and Ting. And you can tell that they are twins and they look the same, but the book is about how they're not exactly the same, just oh. like the title says. I also brought this book too. This one is a picture book. This one is called A Big Mooncake for little star. It, wait, is that person eating the moon? <laughs> it sure looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, do you know in Chinese culture, there is a kind of cake called a moon cake. Oh, moon cake. And it looks a lot like the moon. Do they so, have any banana flavored ones? You know, they probably do now. Oh, I gotta <laughs> check that out. Traditionally, there were, they weren't banana ones, but mm. now I bet you there are. Oh, cool. <laughs> So this book is about a young girl uh, named Little Star, and they make a really huge mooncake. And of course, she's not supposed to eat the mooncake, but she can't help it. And it's that <laughs> story of Little Star and her big mooncake. <laughs> That's so cool. What was the inspiration for this story? Oh, the inspiration of this story was actually my own daughter. We were celebrating the moon festival. The moon festival is when you eat mooncakes, and she loved mooncakes so much she ate all the mooncakes we had and so that kind of inspired this book. <laughs> That's so cool. I can't wait to check that one out. Do you mind if I borrow it? Sure. Oh, thank oh there's, there's one more question I had for you too though. Sure. Um, what was one of your favorite books when you were growing up? Oh one of my favorite books when I was growing up. I think the one that came to my mind was a book called The Little House by Virginia Lee Burton. It's a story about a house that was in the country, but slowly the city grew around her and then and then she was kind of sad to be in the middle of the city and then she moves back out to the country. It's really it's a really, really sweet book. I wow. hope you get a chance to read that one too. I will, I'll have to check that one out too. <laughs> well, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me and I'll have to check out, make sure you check out more of Grace Lynn's work. It's so amazing, especially <laughs> check out uh, Ting and Ling. Yes. Oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Happy